everyone, uh, Alexander from the Indigo Light blog. I want to thank you for being here again. Uh, this is the third video that is going online. Um, I first and foremost want to thank all the readers, the viewers, uh, the backers for the positive feedback that I'm getting. Um, a lot of support, a lot of words of, uh, of acceptance, a lot of words of compassion, and a lot of people that are sending me messages basically about how they empathize with what I'm writing or how it's, it's, it's helping them recognize some, some, some parts of themselves that they're not aware they're kind of struggling with. So that's, uh, it's a good fuel to keep me going and to convey more messages, to pass on more information in regards to what is happening in these days. Uh, the, the, the downflow of energy is immense. So I see it as my purpose uh, via myself as a conduit and as an initiator basically from the messages that I get and so on, is to pass on the energy to make it easier on the readers, on everyone out there who is reading, who is looking at the videos, who have people who have questions, want to clarify certain things, uh, essentially to make it easier, to remove the blockages within yourself so that you can uh, assimilate, accommodate the new energies in, a, in an easier fashion and not have all the blockages, the difficulties, the anger and the, the emotions that will come up during the process, uh, which is normal. But... Uh, if we can help avoid it, or we can help circumvent it, then it's much better to do that. Uh, because, you know, we've done the 3D experience for so long. We want things to be easier. Uh, one of the things I will talk about in, in further posts is um, core beliefs, but uh, expanded. And the core beliefs are things like ease. Um, how easily we can live our lives, because from the 3D experience, from the 3D matrix, we're used to difficulty on the most part, things coming on into our lives as obstacles. And as much as we've tried to release and so on, you know, the karmic construct and the 3D construct had made sure that things were seldom as fluid as they should be. Now there is a complete change in energy. It's like um, basically opening a door, entering a room that is full of light and being able to be pushed forward to your destination in a very, very easy, fluid manner, just like you were, I don't know, flowing down a river. Uh, it's not something we're used to. So there's uh, a lot of difficulty to understand that this is a possibility and that this is an easy possibility. And it's something that we're going to have to get used to because a lot of us, myself included, are still within the 3D mindset. We still have these um, 3D uh, difficulties in uh, accepting the massive changes that have happened because we inhabit from what we see in the mirror to be the same body, the same house, the surroundings sometimes don't send us the best messages in terms of feedback. Yet, um, at this time in age, we see what we want to see. Okay, uh, the world is not, it's not the, it's, I'm not going to say it's in the eye of the beholder. There is a complete uh, deconstruction of what we're used to. And we've, what you call, decompartmentalized our reality between 3D and 5D. So in, on certain days, you can choose to see one side, and on the other days, you can choose to see the 5D. Regardless, you are living and existing in your 550 uh, body at the moment, okay, into perpetuity. Whether you choose to go back down and to experience things that are now difficult to you that you don't have to anymore, that's your choice. But you're going to have to internalize and accept that you've elevated yourself from one state to another. That chapter is over. As much as it kind of reverberates in your in your in your physical reality, you may see witness certain things. The universe is still trying you, okay, to see if you've accepted your your new beliefs, if you've really grounded all the changes that you've made over the last uh, 2012 onwards for sure. Some of us have started many years before that. Um, so, essentially, the lesson of the day uh, of this month, at least, is is patience with yourself. And to really be in acceptance of flowing with uh, the massive changes that are coming. If you find difficulties, don't be hard on yourself. Don't expect too much of yourself. It's not something that you're used to. And it's definitely... Um, I, I have posted an article on, uh, on the upcoming website. And I've released it on the internet about masculinity. Um, I'll get back to the point in a second. Um, essentially, we're used to a kind of hardened masculinity, but there is, there is much more difficulty 
in internalizing your emotions and sorry introspecting and looking at your emotions from inside and addressing all the difficulties and the darkness and all the the pain and the anger that we've had throughout all these decades for most of us than to be the strong male archetype that we see in the movies and the media and so on so what i'm trying to get back to is that it's a very a challenging period for us to accept all the massive changes that we've made as as much as we may see them or may not see them so we need to be very loving and very very patient towards ourselves you can't expect too much of yourself also physically because your body is tired from all the 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 adaptation to the different frequencies you have to understand another thing if you make a certain um you know in terms of your chakra your chakra basis um if you make certain changes especially nowadays in your heart chakra um, you have to let your body accommodate to the frequencies. The minute you release frequencies, new frequencies will come and replace them. But during that adaptation time, you uh, you have to let your body rest. If you expect too much of your body during the specific days, you are in the wrong. Because it might not co cooperate with you. You need to give it as much love, patience, and time as it needs. And it will let you know when it's ready. Okay. So you are making those changes. Be, be kind to yourself. Be patient. Be... Uh, sympathetic to your body, to your organism, try to eat as cleanly as you can. I personally am doing quite a lot of fasting these days, a lot of water. Um, I'm a teetotaler, but that's a different topic and that's up to you. Um, so there are different ways that you can, you can, you know, get through this period fluidly and um, start to ground the, the choice of ease. The changes are bringing only positive outlooks as much as the, the, um, the temporary outlook from different things that may arise in your life that have been unclosed and unfinished may look to have a certain negative polarity. It's not real. Okay. You are here. You are awake. Whether it's through this video, this blog, this post, or someone or somebody else's, it doesn't really matter. You are awakening. You are searching for information to try to explain to you what is happening to you in your life. You know, you're always looking for clarifications if you don't know it already. So the fact that you're searching means that you reach a certain level of, of awareness, of awakeness, of awakening, sorry. Um, so be nice to yourself um, and be kind, be gentle. In female polarity, male polarity, it doesn't matter. Be gentle with yourself and, and give your time for your body to heal and, uh, and to be in the now as much as possible. Don't expect too much of yourself, you know. As much as you let go, the universe will help push you forward. Now, um, now I'm getting to the point of the post itself, what I want to talk about today. In terms of releasing, in terms of the mechanism, there is a, a partnership between you and the universe. Now, because the 3D life that we've endured for decades, and well, for our lifetime, it's decades, for prior lifetimes, millennia, centuries, and so on, uh, there has been a sense of difficulty of rule. So we've adapted to that because we're an adaptive species. Um, in terms of dealing with, with certain mechanisms, the ego was a big part of this. A lot of anger, survival instincts, fear, and so on. Um, at the time, at this time, sorry, it may be difficult for us to accept that we've come so far, that we've made changes in ourselves. For example, if you have a problematic relationship, you release it, you ask it what it was meant to teach you, you internalize the lesson, you make changes to your life that are necessary, that reflect that you've learned this, you send it back to the universe, you've made an enormous change, okay? Now, that change will bring, will reverberate in your physicality quickly, okay? Now, how quickly depends on you. So there is a mechanism of um, vanquishing anticipation, Okay, in regards to the universe in this day and age. So you may have made changes and you're sitting and kind of waiting for uh, your physical reality to change based on the changes that we've made. Because of your 3D reality that you endured for so long, you have been unarmed with something called faith. Your ability to believe in greater things that are safeguarding you, that are watching over you, that are loving you, for most of us, it's been an awakening of a decade or 20 years or less, okay? So for a great part of our lives, we've kind of cruised through the 3D matrix uh, with a certain amount of fear. 
we didn't really have that feeling that someone has colloquially we say got our back. Okay, that has changed, but your your mechanism of believing that may have not changed enough yet. Okay, so a person that tr truly has mastered the art of believing will be able to release unequivocally. Okay, so that person would have made the change and let it be, and let the universe reciprocate in whatever way it sees fit, whenever it sees fit, however it sees fit, without any anticipation. Because you will know that you have this big brother, sister, mother, father entity, okay, physical manifestation of the creator, that is watching over you, that is uh, acknowledging the changes that you've made, and that is just waiting for you to, you know, release the old in order to replace it within you. Um, so whenever you are sitting throughout your day, your week, uh, and you notice patterns of negative thoughts, anticipation, is this going to happen? When is this going to happen? I've already put in the work. I don't see this changing, even though I believe I've made enough changes. Two things you do. First of all, you stop yourself because it's not leading anywhere. You check if there's any remnants of fear, anger, ego. If there isn't, you let it go. Okay. On the most part, because we are at a place that we're now grounding 5D, um, a lot of the old negative thought patterns have already been released from our bodies. Our guidance is still mindful that we are going through this immense change, so we need time to um, assimilate. Okay. Therefore, if you made a change in a certain area of your life, but you're not ready completely for it because you are tired physically, mentally, and you need a, an integration period, your guidance maybe will give you that. If you just trust it, let go. If you acknowledge that you've made all these changes and you believe unequivocally, and this is the most important part of all this process, that you are in the right direction and that someone has got your back, you will be fine. Okay, but if you don't release, you are basically, you're not preventing anything from happening. You are delaying the inevitable, which is a positive inevitable. Okay, um, you are making it harder on yourself. You may create frustration, you may create anxiety. This is an ego mechanism that you need to work on. So, from my first teacher, I learned a very important thing. Breathing grounds the soul within your construct. If you see these thought patterns come up, Breathe, ground yourself, let it go. It's not real. Okay. Remind yourself that your direction is only positive. When there is light, there is only light. There is no darkness and the light cannot exist. They cannot coexist. We were done with that. You need to let it go. And whenever you feel like you've made a change, maybe, I don't know, career-wise, family, personal relationships and whatnot, let it go and let the universe reciprocate. The faster you let it go, the faster it will reciprocate because you're ready to receive it. If you are anticipating, it's basically like you're creating a cloud of energy around you that wants to attract, but is not ready to let it go. And that cloud, the minute you move it aside, there is emptiness, a new energy comes in to replace whatever you've released. Okay, so if you've released, um, I, I get a lot of questions about personal relationships. The new age, the 5D spouse that's been waiting for you, you release the spouse that you know has taught you many things, but is no longer right for you. And then there's the anticipation. When is the new person going to come? First thing you ask yourself, first thing you breathe, you ground yourself. You ask yourself if you're really ready. Am I somehow fearing uh, that it may not work out? How much do I believe in this? You know, you need to go through the questions. These are basic questions where, uh, say, by your ergonomy uh, diagnosis, where you sit and you kind of breathe through your body and you try to diagnose how you're feeling. If you see any blockages energetically, just talk to them, address them, release them. Okay. Um, and then, basically, you let the universe reciprocate in the right time. The only thing is that you need to, you need to feel safe for the first time in your existence. I think that's what I'm trying to encapsulate Sorry, in this, in this video. You need to feel safe. You need to feel safeguarded and loved and heading towards a positive direction in a cocoon of love for the first time in your existence. And until you can uh, really accept and uh, internalize this in all your chakras, in all your being, there has to be a change within you. When you've done that, you'll be able to let things go and things will come your way 
extremely quickly because the art <clears throat> of manifestation, of creation in the fifth dimension is that the fifth dimension is basically a room of light. Light travels very quickly. Okay. If you've made a change, you're traveling very quickly towards your objective. Your objective will meet you halfway. Okay. And that happens very, very quickly. You've removed all the blockages. If you can imagine a room of light that had prior walls, rocks, things that were blocking the light from you know, traveling, there's no longer that. So you don't have to worry about time. The, 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 the progress you make in terms of releasing and cooperating with the universe will make sure that within your room of light that you call your life, the light will travel extremely quickly. But the second part of this is that you will have to be able to accept the speed at which it travels, which may be too quick for you at the moment because you're tired, because you're anxious, because you're still adapting. So you may also, you know, try to understand that there are certain parts of you that are not ready, not on a, in, in terms of um, changes that you still need to make. Your body is going through certain changes. Your, your emotions are reaching a balance and you need to give yourself time. You see, the world is changing. It's not going to change in a day. Okay, these are collective changes and individual changes. The more individual changes we make, the more collective changes we make uh, within the, the group of people that are awakening, you know, the, the first waves, the second wave and the third wave, and then the rest of the population. We're helping these people awaken and elevate themselves as well, if they choose, of course. So, the room of light is full. The moment you learn to, uh, to accept this mechanism, to acquiesce to it, it will take you forward very, very quickly, and you will feel safe moving forward in your cocoon of love. You won't need to fear anything, and you won't need to anticipate anything. Anticipation is some kind of passive fear anyways, because you will know that the universe is watching you, it's taking care of you, it's just making sure that you've, I'm going to say this on a comical note, done your homework, give it to your teacher, and it's going to give you your grades. So there is a reciprocity mechanism here. Okay, as long as there is anticipation, there is some kind of fear. I think anticipation comes from the fear of maybe this is not going to happen. That's not necessary, because it is. If you do a tally up of your life and the changes you've made, you'll notice if you write, I don't know, myself in 1995, myself in 2018, you're not the same person. Okay, you may be sort of in the same physical body, not really, uh, because of the light changes in your DNA and your crystalline structure. You're not the same person. You're a completely different person. Give yourself credit for that. And in the name of that huge, massive, beautiful transition you've made, feel safe, feel accompanied, feel safeguarded, feel loved. And just let go. But let go, really. Okay? That's all. That's what I wanted to convey. It's something that I practice every day. I'm not going to pretend by any token that it's easy, because it's really not. Okay? But we are in a different place now, we are safe, and this is going to be an amazing, beautiful journey. I'm thankful to the universe that we have each other, okay, because we're not alone. And uh, they say no man is an island, this is true. So we need to do this as a family, as a collective, you know. If you, if you have questions, please, you know, shoot them my way. And um, I think that this is a beautiful thing. A lot of times I've needed feedback, uh, help, guidance, and I've looked in, the, in the, uh, the regular alleys, you know, that we go to when we go to talk to people to get help, and it just didn't work, because that was a 3D construct. It doesn't work anymore. We have each other. We help each other out. We have questions. We ask. We get answers. We get support. The more we help each other elevate, the more we help our planet elevate, our society, and we make changes within ourselves by giving to others and within our society and our surroundings. Okay, and this is the only way we're going to get to where we're supposed to get. And it's coming very, very, very soon. Okay, um, and I'm really thankful for that. So that's it. That was my, uh, my video for today. I really want to thank all of you for being here, for watching. It means a, an infinite lot to me. And again, if you have any questions, please ask. You, uh, you should have in the description my email, Skype. A website is going to come very soon. It's going to be a temporary website until we get everything sorted out. Uh, but it's going to be an amazing website with the same content as our final website. So I invite you to do that. I'm going to keep everyone updated. And I want to thank you again infinitely. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you.